Well, good morning, kids. Miss Peggy here. Happy Sunday before Christmas. I hope you're ready to go. I hope you've got everything ready that you need to do and that your heart is also ready for this special time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, right? Our story today is about Rufus. This one's called Rufus and the Very Special Baby. So in this story, Rufus and his friends are going to pretend that they were there the night Jesus was born. Let's see what happens with Rufus and his friends. There's the first picture. Rufus was getting ready for bed. He had just curled up under his cape when suddenly Ava came running. Get up, Rufus, Ava shouted. Something wonderful is happening. Stop it, Ava, I'm trying to sleep, Rufus grumbled. But Rufus, I have to tell you about the baby, Ava said. Rufus's little ears perked up. I think Rufus likes babies, don't you? Just now, when I was in the field with the other sheep, angels filled the sky. They said that God sent a special baby boy as a gift to the whole world. Rufus leaped out of bed. A special baby sent by God? Let's go find him. Ava said, the angel said the baby would be in a manger. I'm going to bring some of my wool for a pillow for him. You can bring a gift too if you'd like. Ava's gonna bring some of her, some of her wool off her body, huh? Sheep have lots of wool, don't they? They have plenty to spare. Wool is a good gift, thought Rufus. I wonder what I can give a baby. A nice bone? A smelly fish? A ball of string? No, these were gifts for a baby dog, not a baby person. Rufus thought and thought. Then he came to a conclusion. I don't have anything special enough to give a baby from God. But Rufus wanted to see the baby. Maybe he could just take a peek. So he followed after Ava. Rufus is thinking about the things that he would like as a baby puppy, but then he realized that these probably wouldn't be things that a, a baby person would really like, huh? He was starting to get worried, wasn't he? Ava and Rufus walked down the path and found Joe. Ava told him about the special baby. I want to give something to the baby too, said Joe, and he grabbed a big armful of hay. This hay will make a comfy bed for the new baby, he told Ava. That's a good gift, thought Rufus. The baby will like having a soft place to sleep. There's Joe in the hay. Joe's a goat, isn't he? Goats like to lay in the hay, don't they? Rufus, Ava, and Joe kept walking. Soon they found Hal. Ava told him all about the baby. I want to bring the baby something that will make him smile, said Hal. Hal looked at the beautiful flowers in the field. This is the biggest, brightest flower in the whole field, Hal said. It will make him smile. Hal's a hedgehog. That's a good gift, Rufus thought. The baby will like having something nice to look at. Rufus is still, look at Rufus's little face. He's still feeling a little worried, huh? He wants to bring something too. He just doesn't know what to bring. Soon the friends found Yuri. Ava told her all about the baby. Do you remember who Yuri is? Yuri's the dove, huh? We're all bringing gifts for the baby, Ava said. Maybe you can bring, maybe you can sing him a lullaby. Yuri cooed and nodded. Bet she can sing a pretty song, huh? Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri headed toward the stable to find the baby. But Rufus hung his head and kicked sadly at the ground. Everyone has a gift, he thought, except me. If only I had something special to give the baby, too. Look, they're almost there. You see the star shining over the stable? Wouldn't it be cool to be able to be there that night and see that? And be one of the first to see baby Jesus when he was born. Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri walked into a small building filled with shining light. 
Rufus peeked through the door, and then he saw the baby. A woman rocked him in her arms. A man was cleaning out a wooden manger that usually held food for the cows. The baby fussed and cried. Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri tiptoed up to the family. Joe put his bundle of hay into the manger. Ava added her, her wool to make a pillow for the baby's head. The mother laid the baby on the wool and on the hay. Right away, the baby stopped crying. He snuggled into the bed that Ava and Joe had made for him. See them putting their gifts that they brought into the manger? And there's poor little Rufus peeking around the corner. He's afraid the baby won't want to see him if he doesn't have a gift, but that's not true, is it? Next, Hal scurried up to the manger and set his flower gently inside. The baby's eyes seemed to shine with delight. Yuri flew up to the raptors and sang a beautiful song. The baby listened for a while and then closed his eyes and let out a sigh. Rufus watched from the edge of the room. Everyone had found just the right gift to welcome this special baby, but Rufus didn't have anything to give. His tail drooped. He began shuffling out the door. But when Rufus heard Ava whispering to the others, he stopped. The baby's mother said, his name is Jesus, said Ava. She said he's a sign of God's love for the whole world. Rufus looked again at the manger, and then he saw something he hadn't noticed before. The baby wasn't sleeping. He was shivering. Cold air was blowing from the door and keeping him awake. Suddenly, Rufus knew exactly what his gift should be. I think he's going to go back. It wasn't going to be easy. Could he give away his very special favorite something? Rufus needed help. What's he thinking about giving baby Jesus, I wonder? What's, his fav is, what's Rufus's favorite thing in the whole world that he wears around his neck? His cape, huh? Dear God, you gave the special gift of Jesus to the whole world. Please help me give something away that I love to someone who needs it more than me. Amen. He said a prayer to God to help him, didn't he? Rufus took a deep breath and walked up to the manger. He untied his cape and gently laid it on the baby. Jesus blinked his big brown eyes at Rufus, and then he cooed and fell asleep under the warm red cape. Aw, isn't that nice? As the friends started for home, Ava and the others walked up to Rufus. I can't believe you gave him your cape, Ava whispered. I wanted to give him something special, said Rufus, because he's a special baby. He is a special baby, Rufus, Ava said. And together they turned to gaze at the very special baby and the very special gift. The end. Wow, that was pretty amazing. Rufus gave up something that was really, really important to him, didn't he? Because God gave something to us that was very, very important to him. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us the best gift ever. The best gift in the whole wide world. Thank you for sending us Jesus, your son, so that he could be with us forever in our hearts and keep us from harm, and show us the way back to you. Amen. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for all your good listening skills, and I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas, and I'll see you hopefully on Christmas Eve.